What it do, y'all? What it do? What's up? What's up, man? You already know exactly what time it is. We're back here to serve some more game on the ground from the Hungry House. We just got the pound and are ready for the next round, man. With that being said, I hope everybody's having a good day today. My day's been alright. My day's been pretty good, pretty chill, pretty regular, average day in the regularly scheduled program, man. You know, there's not much to complain about, not much to really uh, go on about today, you know, except for the fact that it was just a long day today. I don't know what it was about today, but it just took so long to go away. But uh, at the end of the day, it is what it is. You know, there's not much you can say. Uh, get out of here, fool. There's not much you can really say uh, when a day is long. Just the fact that you got through it is good enough, should be good enough. But a lot of people want to sit around and, and dwell on the fact that it was a long day or it was a sucky day. Even when it's over. And that's one thing that I never understood was what, what, what is the point of dwelling on something when it's already happened, when it's already said and done, when it's already over? Uh, it's over, it's done, move on, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people sit around and, and, and complain, oh man, uh, my day was terrible at work, <clears throat> uh, my day sucked at work, uh, my day was long, man, my day was slow, and they dwell on it, they get on the game and start complaining to random people that don't know about how bad their day was, about how slow their day was, how long, how, you know, and it's just like, dude, there's no point in that. What's good, BTW? What's up, what's up? Uh, so, yeah, man, if you're one of those people, man, you got to cut that out. Because that is a very toxic mindset for you to be in. Not for anybody else, but for yourself, personally. It's a toxic mindset. I used to have that same mindset, bro. When things happened, I used to dwell on it for a day two days, some, it, depending on the severity of it, I dwell on it for a whole week, and you gotta learn to let stuff go, man, you gotta learn to let stuff go, you don't get out of here, bro, asking goofy questions like that, uh, uh, man, look at these people up in here, man, just acting a fool, but yeah, man, with that being said, we finna talk about something, and it, 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 it's kind of sad to see, you know, uh, growing up as a kid, I always grew up by this rule. It was bros before the you know what. I can't say the word on TikTok because TikTok's not going to allow it. But it was bros before 304s. We're going to say that. Bros before 304s. And uh, nowadays, it's 304s before anything. People, a, a man these days, a dude, I won't even say a man, a dude these days will trip over a female that they don't even know, that they're not even in a relationship with, but they won't even trip over somebody who's messing with their homie. Uh, I've seen videos of uh, dudes who be walking with their homies or whatever the case may be, and uh, when a, a baddie come around the corner, he'll straight up just, just ditch his homie. He'll ditch his friend, dude. He'll ditch his friend. He'll leave his friend there, whatever the case may be. And uh, and he'll go with the female. You know, I've seen videos of people at the club where they're supposed to be tight, you know, because anything can happen in the club. You're supposed to be rocking with your homie, whatever the case may be. And dudes will leave their bros at the club with a dancer or a 305, I prefer to call them 304s, will leave the club, go back to her place, his place, whatever, and leave their homies there. Dudes will trip over a female that they don't even know nowadays before they trip over somebody who's messing with their brother, with their homie, whatever. And that's a shame uh, because dudes have, have, have stooped down so low nowadays to where they feel and they think of themselves as nothing if they don't have the cat. They got to have the kitty cat. And if they don't got no kitty cat, they don't, they, they're not considered a man, they're not considered a dude, whatever the case may be. Uh, a man is somebody who do what he's supposed to do. 
A man is somebody who rock with his homies right or wrong. A man is somebody who remains loyal to his brothers. Nowadays, a man, quote unquote man, uh, yeah, if I was pressed about, yeah, yeah, no, nah, uh, if I was pressed about certain things, I wouldn't be talking about this specific topic, goofy, uh, but no, nah, a man these days, quote unquote man, he's not a man unless he gets the kitty cat. He not a man unless he got multiple 304s. He not a man unless he's, uh, you know, wiling out, doing stupid stuff. When did be being a man mean you got to have kitty cat? Bro, I'm about to turn comments off because this is actually starting to get on my nerves. Uh, but nowadays it's like the, the meaning of man has lost its value nowadays. Just like the meaning of, of, of woman has lost its value nowadays. Because people came in, they took that meaning, they threw it in the dirt, they kicked it around the mud, and left it there. And now being a man, being a woman has no meaning, no real value to it. Because nobody wants to be a real man or a real woman nowadays. And this is a sad thing to see when you when you when you see stuff like this and you realize, wow, bro, this stuff really be, do be going on, and this is really what classifies as a quote unquote man nowadays, is you know running it running out there in the streets doing street stuff, hood rat stuff, getting kitty cat, going to clubs, getting that drink, you know, uh, toking up. All these things make you a quote unquote man. Uh, instead of getting your own place, graduating high school, uh, paying your bills, and doing what you're supposed to do, nowadays it's the exact opposite. That's a man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and and, and, it, and it, it sucks, you know, because for for people who still think. You know, in the ways that I do, the, the ways that some other people may think, it makes you feel like you're way overlooked. And uh, in reality, you really are. You really are overlooked. And that's why a lot of dudes be going and joining other dudes when they do things. Like, dude, I seen a video earlier. This dude was a. Uh, uh, he 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 was playing pool and he did some type of trick shot. And he bumped the pool table with his hip. And it, it, it made the eight ball go into the pocket. But when he did, I, 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 I kid you not, when he did, he looked back at the camera and started twerking. A dude started twerking. <sighs> I see videos of dudes getting down on all fours twerking. I see dudes swinging around on a pole shirtless. I see dudes doing all these things. And y'all wonder why nobody wants to be a man. Because people have, have taken the, the meaning of being a man and made it look like this instead of what it's supposed to be. Just like people, nobody wants to be a woman because people have have taken what it means to be a woman and made it look like this instead of what it's supposed to be. They make being a man look look boring, look dumb, look stupid, just like they make being a woman look boring, look stupid, look dumb, look pointless. Men are not men no more and women are not women no more. They're all boys and, and girls and females and dudes and there's no, there's no maturity anymore, and it's a shame, but that's just how it is at the end of the day. So with that being said, man, make sure y'all share with your friends, your families, your mommies, your aunties, your grandmas, and everybody else that y'all know. Bro, if you out here making videos of you twerking and you're a dude, bro, you need to go to a, a psychiatric facility and, and, and uh, admit yourself into it because you, you got some serious health issues and mental issues that you need to have looked at and taken care of.
And with that being said, uh, you know, dudes, I want to say this real quick. Dudes, nowadays, if a female try to get in to, to start twerking or whatever, he would do it in an instant. I remember when I was younger, I had a female try and teach me how to twerk. And I'm like, man, get that out of my face, bro. I don't, I don't play that. Nowadays, because if it's a female trying to teach them how to twerk, they're going to do it just like that because they think it's going to get into kitty cat. That's a shame.